Coming up in this week's eFix TV, I get my hands on this fantastic bit of kit. I won't be letting it go anytime soon. We swap places at the bench and Gary shrinks. Wow. Live from the catwalks of Paris, Gary models the latest in Weha clutch bags. And these expert presenters reunite for a special on-site video. So we We've taken the trip out to Rutland and I bought this Verso consumer unit that you've reviewed in a previous video, Joe, but why are we out here today? Because it's time to see this in action. We're gonna see this put on the wall in, 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 in. Strong stuff. Fresh from the gym, Gary's latest exercise routine doesn't quite go to plan. Like you're struggling there a bit, Gary. No, 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 I'm not struggling at all. I'm not producing a video without you either. So he needs a hand. Hello and welcome to eFix TV. We're live every other Wednesday and we welcome you for joining us. And it wouldn't be possible without these great people, the people who support the live stream. That's Lasico, that's Wago, that's Nipex and Luden Palazzoli for supporting us here live this evening. So massive thanks for all their support as well as yours. So thank you for joining us. What's the weather like here? It's awful actually, it's raining. It's like, it's like the pitch of night, isn't well, it? Well, that's because we did the uh, Makita Coolbox review. That was it, that was the kiss of, that was it, that finished it. That just, that was summer over. It's like me getting the barbecue out. So, um, okay. so we've got plenty of regulars on, Gary. Just so do the register then, Gordon. Uh, we've got Airspark, who's finally got the coffee machine working, the Makita coffee machine working, and a lovely cup of coffee being stirred with a Weeha Speedy Mark One. God, so there you go, it just needs the cool box now to complete the set. Wow, that's an expensive set. And we've got some, uh, we've got some good tool Best. A bit of, bit of, yeah, bit of tool rivalry tonight between the old uh, Milwaukee and Makita coming up. Uh, Richard Brook is on. We've got some new Daniel Zudet Long. There we go. Someone with a Tesla logo in there. So. Oh, wow. Very nice. Uh, oh, uh, Mark out in uh, Tenerife. Nine plus. Some bad news for you, Mark. What's the ba bad news for Tenerife? We're going to Tenerife. He's sending us some plane tickets, I heard. Yeah, well, no, the bad news is we've had another follower who's upped, he's been gazumped. Oh, yeah. is he? So okay. we've got a new follower got in uh, in the Caribbean, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Donny, Donny, Donny Joseph. Donny Joseph. Now, I'd just like to say, I think it's not fair that people come and visit us through the TV, is yeah. it? And they watch us, and especially on Wednesday when we go live, they give up their evening to watch us. I think we should get out and see the people that are watching us. Do you think Donnie should be on that I, list? I think Donnie's just suddenly gone top of the list, actually. I think we need to understand, this, reckon, and I think we need to validate this, because you, right. you get a message through your email and you just sometimes you just don't know, are you getting the truth here? Apparently, yeah, go on. in the Caribbean, yes. they follow the IET wiring regulations. I don't know that for certain. Exactly, so I think we just might need to just pop out and check. Well, I'm willing to go and see Donnie, and it's me and you that's up with Lee Mobile, the other two never leave their homes. Yeah. Wow, we're on it. So okay. that's the one there. So yeah, plenty of other people. Dr. Electric in, Richard Glynn on, Paul Tipton won last time, Josh Robinson. No relation to Joe, allegedly, but seems to do incredibly well uh, <laughs> yeah. on the CPDs. Not a very secretive name, though, is it? No, Billy Torrey's in. Fantastic. Yes. Billy gave a great answer to someone on the on that Apprentice video, on the JLT one. Oh, did he? Out. JLT or the JTL one? JTL, is it JLT? JTL one, What's yeah, JLT? yeah. JLT? JLT? Well, well it's not... a shopping channel. Is that something you buy? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. So, uh, the JTL, yeah, Joint Training Limited Apprenticeships. Brilliant. Thank you for so that. So, he That's gave us a great answer. Well, it's, we're getting into niches. How can you become an electrician? And people keep... Can you do a video on how to become an electrician in, and yeah. this one was Scotland, which apparently is even different as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, Ireland's really difficult and Scotland's uh, yeah, very challenging as well. We've got right. it slightly easier. I'm not an expert on the other two though, but right. I'm willing to travel. So does that mean if you're in, say, Berwick, yeah, you yeah. can sort of, you can train in Berwick <laughs> and go across the yeah. border and it's a bit easier in Scotland? Mm, I don't think so. And I think to also to teach in those places, you need to have a higher level of entry qualifications even to teach. Wow. Anyone else on the register? Uh, we've got Greenhawk Construction. Oh, for right. A while. First time I've seen yeah. him for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Thanks for joining uh, us. He was, what was he doing last week? He was doing a garden office, I watched that one. Yeah, right, okay. Running some data out and I said you could have just combined the cable. EV Ultra. EV Ultra from yeah. Doncaster Cables, one yeah, of our favourites. Which apparently is, people are struggling to get at the moment. Is that popular? Yeah, well, I had a word with Ross this week. Ross, who was the fastest electrician. It's breaking news, who's coming tomorrow morning to have another rip at it? <laughs> Ross, Ross is back. <laughs> He's back without the impact driver. Or he won't get, we'll have to frisk him. <laughs> <laughs> so Ross is back. So the next time out, uh, hopefully Ross will be on the race. We'll try to get above Jake Hardcastle, who I've spent some time with over the last uh, you know, couple of days, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, I have. 
Yeah, don't, don't, don't get fast on there. You might get it. Mark Allenson in. Uh, for Mr. Mr. One to One, Apprentice One to One. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some people are interested in the clutch bag, Gary. So yeah, clutch bag. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. See, it's Taylor, Tim Earp, Lee Brody. Yes, we go. we'll make Lee. Okay. Jack Hardcastle is in. Yes. So there you go. He's there in we as go. Well. So yeah, it's a good fun last so week. I think, uh, I think that's a, that's a register. Register that's done. Ross Steph, I've missed anybody. Then just Azuri Electrical, Dan G, David Pike, ESCS Limited. That's an interesting name that your parents gave you there. But, uh, there yeah, you very odd, but yeah. Whatever. Okay, brilliant. So, all welcome. Now, we always start with news and rumours, so mm. that means it's your segment first. You've just Ooh, done the register, yeah. so you've got to come in with some news and rumours. Where are you going to take me this time? Uh, there was big news this week. Gary. Was that? Big, was news? big news. What, we're, go we're going to Jamaica? That's not often the electrical industry Caribbean? Gets into the BBC. Onto the BBC? Uh, but we had this one. It was. Um, right, and on, let's bring it in. So, it's on behind. Just do you want me to bring it in on, on the. Yeah, just yeah. bring it on the screen just to tease it in there. Okay, I'll bring it in. So just take a few seconds to bring the screen in from your uh, device. This is where we will struggle with the internet, maybe. Let's bring it in. Okay, there it is. So what does that mean? Uh, hacking smart car chargers. Um, so there was a report this week out in the BBC that uh, of an organization who specializes in, uh, what should we call it, hacking, ethical hackers, should we say. Is there such thing? So they yeah, do it for a living? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes known as white hats. Okay. Cool. So you can be a white hat carrier. Okay. Um, so they basically test company systems uh, uh, for how robust they are against someone who isn't a white hat okay. hacking in. But you'd have to ask for them to do that for you. They're, no, no, no. no. They, don't go, one, they don't go rogue, do uh, they? This one, uh, Pen Test Partners. Um, right, okay. They, um, they've, uh, probably the best marketing they can ever do is they go out to the market and buy stuff. Right. And then just for sheer fun... Um, see what they can do in terms of hacking in, see how robust the security is in those devices. And it was only a matter of time before they got around to EV chargers, and that's what they've been doing. Well, do these, these pen uh, test partners, have you ever worked with them before? Because I think I've heard that come up in conversations a few times. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a guy there, Ken Munro. Uh, it, he's uh, hosted a webinar for me in the past, and right. done some live stuff at a trade show, and it's amazing how easy some of this stuff is. And I'll just give you from a webinar, during the webinar, I basically said, right, you go on, there's, there's an actual search engine for IoT devices, so right. things connected to the internet. Okay, yeah. And you can search them out. And he said, there's a particular one, you do this search, you go in and it'll bring up a list of all the cameras out there, internet connected cameras out there. Right, and you're not telling me you broke into one live, do you? Just go in and go in, what's the default password? Well, you can Google that and you're in. So I had great fun because I managed to um, just live during the webinar, I was into somebody else's camera in the US. I was renaming cameras, I was doing all okay. sorts of stuff. So yeah, it was... Um, this is not an advocate for this. Uh, no, 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 don't. Uh, <laughs> it is actually illegal. So yeah, don't try, don't try it at home. And this, being, this will actually be used as evidence in the court of law of confession. I have my white hat on. Oh, uh, right, yeah. you had your white hat. Oh, because you're hat working on. under the uh, pen test, pen part test partners. partners. Yeah, I like so it. I like I'd seconded <laughs> myself to them for the, uh, for the afternoon on that one. Okay, so, so you, you break into an EV charger. I don't, I don't at the minute see the allure or the, the damage you can do by breaking into an EV charger. So explain a little bit more to me, Gordon. Uh, yeah, so the, they obviously went through a list of them and they really highlighted two of them in the, uh, in the press report. The first one was from Project EV. Right, okay. And I must stress, uh, before releasing the report, they did go back to them and say, you've got a problem, uh, you need to do something about it. And they have done, and people have updated the software. But... What they could have done in the case of the Project EV one is force a software update remotely. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. And put their own software on there. Wow. Yeah, and then use the EV charge point to gain access to your home network. And then once you're in the home network, then, hey, hello, Gary, what are you doing, <laughs> on, uh, what are you doing on that website? Banking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just clear that up for those people who may... Banking. Yeah, okay. Gary's favourite banking app. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so they could go in and effectively start potentially plundering your account. Yeah. So, because I'm not good at these things. So my EV charger on the outside of the house yeah. is connected to the Wi-Fi yeah. in some way. Yeah, or hardwired. Or, or, yeah. yeah, okay. They've gone in through the software in that and yeah. actually not, they could disrupt that, but they've actually gone in there and then they could start getting into everything yeah, else. Some wow. malicious stuff, really. So it was, not good. Uh, not good. Yeah. So that was one of them. Was there a second one you want to name? Uh, so that was the biggest one. And bear in mind, this is... Uh, what, well, physically biggest? That was a huge thing on the wall, was it? No, there was, uh, the company behind this uh, have 2.9 million devices uh, across the world. Wow, that's a few, that isn't platform. it? So you imagine you could trigger all of them to start charging. 
Yeah, okay. Great fun. That would be, yeah, trigger them all not to charge. Uh, the other one that got wow. uh, mentioned in dispatches uh, was Wallbox. Wow. Uh, yeah. And they had another security vulnerability. Uh, and yeah, but uh, apparently, pen test was lovely people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lovely people. They didn't want to do anything about it. Uh, until the BBC got in touch with a few of them. So um, <laughs> oh, once dear. the BBC got in touch, then... Uh, there was, was a firmware update. There was a rapid firmware update, yeah. It just, yeah, it shows you what we... And I think the video that I watched, I think the one that you sent me, they turned the EV charger off. So somebody plugged it in, went, went in and then got up the next morning, wasn't charged, was it? Yeah. That's, that's low-level disruption. I would suggest <laughs> yeah, emptying your yeah, bank account just, while yeah. they turned it off as well would be <laughs> high-level disruption. Yeah. So, uh, oh, so the okay. advice, okay, go on and give some advice slides. is obviously if you have, and this just doesn't apply to EV chargers uh, and things like that. That applies to anything that's IoT connected. So it's everything from your smart doorbell to your, your Sonos is obviously, if there is a software update, um, obviously take the software update. There's normally a reason software has been updated. Right, okay. And the second one is make sure you change that default password. Yeah, how I many, yeah. Well, We've all done it, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we've all done it. Quick, get yeah. excited to get something in. Oh, I'll change that later. Yeah, and, and, and later device. never comes. And now so many stuffs connected to the internet. So mm. that was. Okay. Uh, so yeah. that was that was not that was not rumours. That was solid news. Okay, so top tips there: update your software, change password. Yeah. I like it. Okay, yeah. so any end of the going, you're backing your phone. I'm his just phone checking is the actually, messages. Yeah, well, check I'm the messages. Just, just controlling a small network of. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've shut that one off now. Mm. How are we doing? Any buffering going on? Any buffering? Yeah, obviously, people are all in there. No, no, no words of butchering. Plenty of clutch bags going okay. on. Well, well, I don't know why there. they're doing this clutch bag. I, we I must, don't know. Well, we'll so. just have to find out, won't we? But yeah. before that, oh, I think... We've even got a Richard Bushnell in from Osram. We've been doing some stuff on Ooh. the LED strip today, Richard. Well, and it looked remarkably like Osram LED did. strip, didn't yeah, it? it did. And, uh, yeah, a little bit of dimming going on there. We're mm. back into that series, but we can't tell anyone, can we? No. Oh, whoops. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so we've also done something else new. So. The great uh, Joe Robinson has created yet another CPD, and in this time in association with Schneider, Schneider Electric, and it's all about the consumer unit. So um, we're obviously charging people through the know-how tab in order to do that, is that correct? Yeah, no, it's all free again. All sorry, all free. sorry, what are we doing for free again? Another free CPD. Okay, so I think that's about 14 we've got now. So of yeah. course, you know, you'd like to keep up to date anyhow with your own personal development, but if you're part of a competent person scheme, you will have to show the fact that every year you keep up to date. And I think if you've got a nice sprinkling of those eFix uh, certificates in there, mm. and then you try and use some flannel that you once read a magazine or the rest of it, I think you can balance it out, can't you? you can. They'll be going, certificate, certificate. Put it away, sir. Put it away, madam. Yeah, you're it's up fine. to date. You're up to date. Yeah. So um, again, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. So it's a bit of incentive. Go on and give people incentive to go and do it. Not yet. Uh, not yet, no. After we've finished tonight or about nine o'clock, whatever, whatever comes first. So from nine o'clock, we'll allow yeah. it because we're likely to go into the plug and socket later on. If the internet doesn't fall off for the third consecutive... <laughs> have we solved the internet problem? We have, yes. Well, well we, we're on it. But next coming, week. Yes, the next week they're coming to install another line. Yeah, so we have two lines then. Mm. Go on then. So what can you win if you do the CPD uh, after nine o'clock? If you're the first person after nine o'clock who, who passes it, so that's normally above 70%, if Joe's yes. been generous, yeah. we'll give you this uh, lock-off kit. Okay, I'm sure, bit of kit. I'm sure there'll be a, a hat thrown in there. Now, if you won something last time, the post is sitting back there, and I know the one person got the Echo Dot, didn't they? Yes. We're all parceled up and ready to go. We've had a, we've had a bit of a staffing issue, haven't we, over the last <laughs> couple of weeks. Jo yeah. Joe's quite relaxed with his uh, attendance anyhow, and he's, been, he's had about two weeks off now, hasn't he? So um, <laughs> once he's back, the first thing he'll do, he'll do the post, as I apologise in advance if there's something hasn't been sent out to you. Yeah, it's coming soon. And when I say Joe, we've got two Joes. That's not CPD Joe, that's... Um, Younger Joe. Okay, I would suggest on that one. Right, mm. okay, so you're giving something away. After nine o'clock, the first person to complete the Schneider CPD on circuit protection, we will send them out a prize. We'll have all your details, unlike Gary's Swap Shop. Dun, dun, dun! Gary's Swap Shop. Now, this is a little bit different. In order to play along with Gary's Swap Shop, you need the word. I think Mrs. R would refer to this more as a clutch bag. Just, uh, just. Okay, so we got it from a video that we shot this week. We've got the words, what's the words? Clutch bag. Clutch bag, something that <laughs> Mrs. R would call this a clutch bag. Mrs. Yeah. R being your, well, your you, lovely you wife. Well, you thought this was uh, definitely not a bum bag. And the, or a, a fanny pack, as the other one, that, as your American friends like to call it. I used that a few times. I went to the um, basketball shop, no, basket, yeah, basketball shop in London with my son this uh, weekend just gone, and they were all hanging there. So I just kept saying the word 
fanny pack. And, and this lady's walking, a little lady was walking by laughing, real tall husband. She stopped in an American accent. She turned and went, you can also call it a bum bag. It's like, you know, I'm back at you, Gaz. Yeah, so, but uh, we think this is a clutch bag. Just put that under your arm, Gary. He's been walking around with that. Clutched to him. Uh, oh. To claw your cup. Yeah. <laughs> I do love a pouch, but, oh, this is... We'll get to this. We'll get to this in a minute. So, Gary Swap Shop. In order to play along for Gary Swap Shop, you must put... What's the word you got to put in? Clutch bag. Clutch bag. And we'd like you to all please like this live stream. So just wander up and just click the like button for us. We really appreciate it. Never ask for it anywhere else. When we're doing any videos, we don't say like and subscribe and all the rest of it. All we do is on these live streams just to keep us going. Can you just hit that like button? And if you want to play along, you put clutch bag in. And if you are pulled out at the end, so you're only nominating yourself at the moment. If you're pulled out at the end and the two people, you will get the following stuff. So uh, do you want to take hand cam? Oh, I better bring it in for you. I'll bring hand cam in for you. So we'll bring hand cam in so you can see what we're going to win. So if you're lucky enough to do it, bring it in, little Joe. So do you want to bring that one? So you've got that. Okay. So, whoa. so in here, we've got the Eddy Current Thermos Flask. Okay. Keeps drinks hot and cold. And cold, at the same yeah. time. No. Eddy Current Stickers. Oh, they're, new. they're new and creased. Okay, so you've got crease stickers. What else have we got in the bag? We've got, Gordon, we've got the Eddy Current hat in Gary's Swap Shop. We've got an LED head torch, which we think are amazing, from La Seco. Gets better as we go along. You've got a right-handed this time. I apologize, I gave out left-handed ones last time. So a right-handed pencil and something you're really gonna need and you're gonna benefit from this you're going to thank me for this. We've got a Luden face covering. Okay, so really important you have face coverings at the minute. It's a top priority. So you've got a face covering in there as well. We're not trying to get rid of them at all. So clutch bag in. You've got a chance of the Eddie Current hat, the Eddie Current flask, the head torch, the right-handed pencil, some stickers that will be crushed when you get them, and a face covering. Okay, but you've got to send me something if you win. And that's the hard thing. We get a 50% return. Okay, so out of the two people that will win, one of you will only send it in. I want a part used reel of insulation tape. And where do we send it to, Gordon? Uh, where do we send it to? We send it to uh, go to efix.co.uk slash sticker swap and you will find the address there. Yeah. We're at Lineside but Studios. We'll, we'll in, find you there. Yeah, so. Lineside Studios, uh, Engine Shed Lane in Skipton, BD 23 1TB, and we're Unit 2A. But you must leave your address if you're the winner inside the envelope. Um, along with your part use reel of insulation tape. So you've got to like this stream, leave clutch bag into the comments, okay, and then you're in with a chance of winning. Wow, I've done my bit. So mm. I'll just sit back and relax. You know exactly what we're doing next because you've been looking. Uh, what, oh, what's in the meter box? What are we can do? <laughs> what's in the meter box? What's in the meter box? <laughs> so I'll bring this one in. I'll move these bags. Okay, what's in the meter box? Well, I'll tell you what won't be in there. What's that? Uh, what Electricity meter? Well, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Ooh, that's different. Hang on, hang on. Let's, have a, let's have a little look in here. It's a Milwaukee battery. It is. Okay. Why well, would you have a Milwaukee battery and a Makita drill? Ah, what's the new update? No way. So they're interconnectable. So how can you improve the Makita product? Just put a Milwaukee, Milwaukee battery, battery on it. I love it. Okay, that's really good. We'll have another little delve into that. There's some more stuff in there. What's that? Well, that's obviously while I was on the well-known online retailer that does next free, put it on, next day free delivery. We'll edit that out, Come. Yep. I found one of these. And that looks like, I don't know. That's a uh, Milwaukee to wires adapter. No. So that now has got 18 volts pumping out the end. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. I'll look that in a minute. Okay, oh, and there's some uh, barley based beverages there for, and they're on the left hand side, so it must be for me. All right, okay, you're gonna bring them over? <laughs> One of them. Wow. Okay, so you're gonna have to explain how I can use the Millwall Wonky products and the Makita products at the same time. Well, right. see, at the weekend we have got a review coming out on these adapters. Have we, have we done a video? <laughs> on we it? have. <laughs> can I get that off? Yeah, it's the. Uh... On, I'll bring the camera back in maybe. So let's have a look then. Let's bring, uh, let's bring, is it Joe? 
a little gel in. Did I bring Steve in last time? I can't think. Did I bring it in? Okay, let's have a look. Right, okay. And what does that, what does that it's do? It's even then? got a USB charger on top. Oh, right. It's got, uh, Steve, hang on, let's do that again. Oh, it's even got a USB charger on the top. Quite yeah. exciting. There you go. So yeah, take your normal, uh, where you put your LXT battery. Ah, right. Put so, that in, and so then you, you can put your mill, uh, mill wonky battery. So you can couple the two together. Yeah. That's clever, isn't it? So where did you get that from, Gordon? Just remind me. Uh, a well-known online retailer who does a next day free delivery. The amount of people that then say, oh, you mean, you mean, didn't you? That? And it was like, yeah. yeah, but we don't say that word. It's like Voldemort, oh, no, isn't no, it? I don't mind right saying Voldemort, again, but so. we don't, I think they get enough publicity without us doing a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's, uh, that's good. Yeah. Really clever. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, so and watch out for that. But we level it up. The other bit of kit you just showed briefly with the two wires on, we, we take that to a whole new level, don't we? We, we do something quite, yeah. yeah. So how can you find out about that? Uh, it's out on Saturday. We've got a review coming out looking at adapters in general for these. So yeah, there's plenty of opportunities for people to get involved. Yeah, there's loads of chances for you to comment. With that in mind, we've just looked at a Makita Stroke Milwaukee product. In the comments, just to keep you going. Put your favorite power tool uh, manufacturer in there. Who's your go-to power tool? So I want to see a stream of them all coming through. Who's your go-to? So Gordon will pick those up in a couple of minutes to see where we are with those. Ah, oh, so what's in your meter box then? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what is not on Instagram at the minute is what is in everybody else's meter box, is it? Seems to have died, <laughs> died a bit of death yeah. there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, since we did a small video looking at what can you put in the meter box, people have stopped showing you what they are putting, putting in, in the meter, meter box. box. Yeah, which, so, I, so. which I would suggest is probably still going on, but we're, yeah. not, we're not waving so much of a flag. Yeah. We will circle back to that though at some point, we and we will yeah. continue to ask, can you put Henny blocks in? Mm. Can you put a switch in? Which we see, obviously, even the DNOs are putting them in. So, yeah. well, no, clarity. You had one. Oh, we, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a smart meter installed. I put it off for three, four years. The guy that came to fit it, my wife will tell you, knew who I was, which was great. I wasn't there. Brilliant. He took away my old meter and he took away my switch as well. He took away my 100 amp fuse. He left me with no switch and an 80 amp fuse. That's progress. Okay, do you agree with that? Yeah. That's... What are the comments coming through? What are our uh, go to power tools? Oh, we've got a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of Makita people. D Vault. Devolt? Uh, yeah. Own Devolt. Base, own brand, yeah, we can have that one. Yeah, we can have a... Own brand? Yeah, yeah, a few Milwaukee's. There's not many Milwaukee's, I mean, many Dewalt people. So, uh, Bosch, a few Bosch. Well, we don't get Christmas cards off Bosch anymore because we're... we have the hand knife. Oh, get, get the hand knife out because that takes us. We're, we're going to give them some of these away in a couple of weeks, aren't we? We are, we're just. I yeah. liked them. Yeah, you like the hand knife. Yeah, I did like the hand knife. Let's bring it back in. I've just got to bring my camera in. I'm leaving them out because of um, struggling. Here we go. So bring your hand knife in. Okay, I'll tell you the thing that will complete that. So if you turn it over, and again, the other back there, mm -hmm. when they put all those lovely symbols in, they forgot. And that's going to be on the next set, isn't it? I'm assured they'll all come with the uh, correct certification. But, but they're going to have an upgrade, aren't they? So the hand knife, so say that, because obviously the algorithm uh, picks it up as something that isn't knife at the end. So the hand knife, um, yeah, it, it will not signal to you when it's uh, reached its maximum temperature, unlike the Bosch Go 2, okay, because that will send you a smoke signal. Okay, yeah, you get a smoke signal. It will puff out the end of it saying, I'm a little warm. Mm. Bit but surprising. How much was it? Uh, 25 quid. 20, it doesn't sound like I'm giving a couple away. I'll do that again. How much are they? Oh, yeah. Priceless, Gary. There you go. We're going to give three go. of those away, I think, in yes. the coming weeks. So yep. stay tuned for other live streams where we'll be giving the hand thing away. I don't want to say it again. I'll get caught out. Mm -hmm. Right, let's take Joe out of the shop. Where are we going next, sir? We're off to... Uh, we are. We're off to that time of the night where you need to look at, uh, think about regulations and things like that. Okay, so. so if we're thinking about regulations, we need to send it over to the Silky Smooth, don't we? The Absolutely. one and only, Joseph Robinson. Let's go over to Regulation Corner. <laughs> Hello, oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Regulation Corner. Take a seat, get comfortable. Maybe pour yourself a drink. Lovely stuff. You know, I've just been sitting here with my industrial plug and connector from Scheme and it's, it's got me thinking about a regulation that you may not have considered before, but it's got something quite appealing about it. I'll share it with you if I may. It's in part five of the regs, which deals with the selection and indeed the erection of equipment. And turning to chapter 55, which deals with other equipment, we find subheading 553.2.
cable couplers. And in regulation 553.2.1 we read the following. Except for a SELV or a class 2 circuit, a cable coupler shall comply where appropriate with BS6991, BSEN61535, BSEN60309-2 or BSEN60320-1, shall be non-reversible and shall have provision for the connection of a protective conductor. And as a bonus, let's consider regulation 553.2.2. A cable coupler shall be arranged so that the connector of the coupler is fitted at the end of the cable remote from the supply. Again, the deeper we dive into the regs, the more layers we find to peel back and a greater sense of depth can be felt, like the authors are teasing us with a sense of some bigger insight into electrical matters, but just always keeping it at the very tips of our fingers, not quite within our grasp, leading to an ever deeper striving for understanding. Some may say that this is simply common sense and that if we need to be told to put a coupler on the end of the lead, that means that we won't have exposed plug pins at the other end, then maybe we shouldn't be electricians. However, to you naysayers, I ask you this, what does it take for common sense to become common sense? Think about it, but what do I know? I'm just a bloke sitting in a chair, reading the regs. I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for stopping by. And the next time you're passing, drop in, say hello. You know, there's always a place for you here at Regulation Corner. Good night. Do that again. Ha! Just like magic. <laughs> we always do something, don't we? There's, always, there's a lot to think about this end. Okay, there just is. like magic, we're in a different location. So we're over here with a sticky back plastic, yeah. two yogurt pots and a cereal box. Optical illusion, Gary. What is that? Well, if I swap places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. It's lower this end. It's lower. <laughs> it's better. I've got me Nick Ramo though. So Nick, every time the Nick Ramo, I've got one of these down there in case I want to level up. Okay, this is what I want to do. So I don't want to go too tall because I don't want to embarrass you. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a sneak peek. So I'm going to bring my sneak peek in. Move that out of the way. And we're, we're straying into the world of LED lights, aren't we? Yeah. So what have we got in front of us here, Gordon? We've got the Spectre LED from Knightsbridge. So it's another, uh, yeah, you think? There's a lot of LED downlights out there. And we think, right, are people going to keep innovating in LED downlights? Yes, they are. They are. Okay, and when we bring hand cam and you'll see that innovation. now. The problem with LED downlights is obviously a wide range that that electrical wholesale has got to keep all the wattage, all the colour temperatures, hasn't it? Mm. The IP rated versions, etc. It would be nice if we could bundle a lot of those features, maybe 40 oh. into one, okay, and bundle those in. And then all of a sudden then, the circular economy. You like that one, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I've been listening, I've been listening to been the in. great Ray Maloney. Yeah. Okay, the circular economy, it's going to take less real estate up in an electrical wholesaler's shelf. It's going to take less diesel to get it there. Yeah. And obviously, this bit of magic here can do a lot of things. Shall You're we have right, a look? Gary, but I would think the other way. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Do customers ever change their mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're there for eight hours, I'd say every hour, yeah. so eight times. Yeah, so this also covers the for when the customer changes their mind. Okay, well, let's, let's have a look on hand cam. Uh, what's the thing? People, well, that's start at the termination, so that's a bit most people care. So it's a plug and socket type one, so you can first fix this or leave the downlights out while the, while the paint is uh, not covering your light in paint. Okay. okay. So hinge up. So just push in. Yeah, push in. Press to release. Press to release. Okay, uh, quite a right clever little um, cable uh, clamp, so it's all toolless. Uh, you just push that down if you want to release it, you just push the tabs uh, underneath. Yeah. Lock it. So that was dead easy. Lock it a lot. Plugs in. Latches in, and obviously, with the clear cover, you can do a visual inspection. Yeah, so you check your polarity visually. I like yeah. that a lot, and of course, it's slightly frosted, so you yep. might be able to get away with a, a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of copper uh, showing, maybe. Yeah. And it locks into place, is that right? Yeah, it locks into place, and if you want to latch it, just push that down, back out again. So that's obviously that's one new thing. Okay, I like, I like the, yeah, that's good. Simple things like visual polarity, isn't it? The amount of times those early ones, you couldn't see anything. You have yeah. to go in and have a look, you're doing a little bit of fault finding. And again, that disconnecting. Now, we've got a little bit of a discussion here. So we, we disconnect when we're testing, don't we? We remove all loads. Which test do we have to remove all those loads for? Oh, the uh, ins insulation test, can you? Yeah, insulation resistance test. I, I Personally, I would not want to be installing these because 
the painter and decorator team, as you suggested, come past, don't they? And they tend to stroke through, don't they? So yeah. it's very handy I can disconnect it for that test. It's really handy that I can disconnect it so it remains the, the, te the texture that it is. And talking yeah. of texture, take one. Let's have a look at that texture. Whether you can see it, but you can certainly feel it, can you? That texture on there is not smooth, is it? No. That's got, if you, just just slightly yeah. Textured yeah. On there. yeah, just just try and get the camera in the right place. Yeah, that's got, it's slightly mottled, like your ceiling would be. Mottled. Yeah, word mottled. And it comes in all kinds of colors. It comes in, yes. it comes in black, doesn't it? It does, you can, can have the black. It's matte black at that. And yep. it can come in polished chrome. Polished chrome, brush yeah. chrome. And, and your, your favorite, favorite yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. that was coming. Yeah, yeah, my favorite. Brass. Brass, you can have a brass one as well. It just spins off, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So the selling the, the not, um, you have to buy the additional colors. Obviously, that again, circular try economy. To try to reduce waste as it is these days. So. But but the, the magic's really on the back, isn't it? Come on, we've the been teasing it long enough. So it's dual wattage. Um, so customer says, Gary, it's a little bit bright in here. Yeah, drop it down to five watts. So five watts is the old thirty-five watt, is it? Yeah, thirty-five yeah. watt or fifty watt halogen for the eight. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then obviously we've got the selectivity in terms of the different color temperatures, so we can do two seven, three thousand, four thousand, and six thousand. So yeah. Just take a deep breath. Mm. So you've perhaps got an office, you want it a little bit brighter, you've got the living areas, you want that warmer feel, you'll tell me next you can dim them. Yeah, well, let's have a look at, uh, let's just have a look at that in action, because we spent some time today with the, we've got the fruit bowl out. <laughs> yeah, you know, anyone who knows the fruit bowl, let's see the fruit bowl in action. We'll come back to some more of the great features in a minute. So let's have a look at this. So we bring this one in here. Are you going to change the colour temperatures for me first? Yeah. Yep, so, so there we go, so simple on the back. Again, so that, yeah, uh, that's changed. So this is a good visual for people who don't really understand colour temperature. You'll see, obviously, uh -huh, as yeah. you change colour temperature, different things pop out of uh, whatever you're lighting. So I'd suggest if you're selling fruit, don't put it on 6,000 degrees Kelvin. And we purposely chose a bluish colour mat for it to sit on because obviously that becomes a little bit of an issue at 6,000. Yeah. Now we're going to dim it down. Now this is this is beautiful. And as we bring it down, it takes, it takes a little while. We're really slowly bringing it down. So the eye needs to adjust to the dimming action that we're doing. So looking at that fruit. And we can see it moving a bit quicker. So down it comes. Already you can see the, the fruits are changing, aren't they? There it goes again. You just feel that change now. Obviously, it's getting late into the evening. We're dimming it down a little bit further. And when you step back, look at that. Yeah. How, so how, look how low dimming. end is dimmed. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, dimming depends on uh, which device you, you marry it up with. There's always a compromise when it comes to dimming. So on that one, and you'd expect some good results, we married it up with uh, a Knightsbridge dimmer that we've... Uh, a noise bridge. Something we've used before that. You have to trim the low end. Check out the videos we've made on dimming if you haven't seen them. There's loads of uh, loads of good advice in there. Well, we'll throw a, jo a few Joe Robinson. It's got a 60 degree angle beam. Okay, it's IP20 on the back, IP65 on the front, so it can be used in those bathroom or mm. shower type areas. It can be covered with thermal insulation, can't it as yeah. well? So those things as well are really important, as long along with fire rain. Yes, and it has, yes. And we've talked about this extensively on the channel. Good job on iJoist. We're surrounded by them. Good job I kicked you in there. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, iJoist and WebJoist approvals. As, yeah, as Which is expect. really important nowadays, isn't it? You know, yeah. All these new builds, you know, there was a stage when they were stopping handing over certificates if the light fittings weren't, and these have been done. So mm. when can I get my hands on them? Uh, it's launching incredibly soon, actually, yeah. so watch uh, out. We have got a full review video coming up, but we've given you a sneak peek of what we'll be doing. And we, and we do like a sneak peek. What we're going to show now is short gas, and then you can use the spit yeah. that you've been desperately used. Let's bring short gas in. So if I wind this one down here, we're going to have a look at short yeah. gas. One second, you've got a cube in, you've got your mic on. Yep. Yep, all good. All right. Mm. Know what you're saying? Well, no. Well, I'll do the, uh, I'll do the hand cam if you want. Really? Well, you might as well swap sides. Well, shake it up, Gary. Shake well, it up. Swap sides then, mate. <laughs> swap sides. Loving it. So on this side. So, oh, 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 oh. Wow, have you shrunk? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Stand up. <laughs> no. Must be an optical illusion. You might need a little next step. There you go. Wow, and I've stood up miles. <laughs> no, must be somewhere. Am I really that short? <laughs> that is not good. The camera is still on the tilt. The short, <laughs> there's a hole here, and now I'm standing in a hole. Oh, I can't believe it. Falls in the past. 
think Mrs. R would refer to this more as a clutch bag. Turn the mics Just back don't... on. So we're, we're in. Look at you. You're so excited. This arrived. I was trying to do something and I was like, oh, I'll just have a look at this. Uh, oh, I can't work it out. And all of a sudden you're boom, 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 boom. Oh, gas, gas coming up. Look what I've nailed to the wall now. Yeah. The, the tire guy next door is strapped to the, yeah. yeah. We've nailed everything. Okay. So you're excited. I can yeah. see that. So I'll bring in hand cam. Let's, let's have a look and see if we can bring in hand cam. What have you got here, sir? So this is the, uh, yeah, this is the Spit Pulsar 40E. So the E for electricians. So this is a, uh, essentially a nail gun that's been uh, specially adapted with some accessories for electricians. Can Would you like to use it? Uh, yeah, what can I do? Oh, got a bit of conduit there. Might want to put a conduit clip on. So, let's so we've just, got a bit uh, of flexi conduit on the wall. We're worried about premature collapsing, are okay. we? So is it a magnetic end? Oh, is it? Hold on, get the right bit. Oh. Want the conduit bit? Yeah. So a magnetic end. Okay. okay, let's see how a magnet works then. Wow, for most people on the channel, that's a first. Hang on a sec, because I'm going to have to hold myself steady here. Okay. Wow. Are you going to do a yeah. cable tie, Ben? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are. So, cable tie, boys. <laughs> I'd imagine that was incredibly loud for people. Yeah. For those who have lost the hearing or perhaps were listening to it on headphones, Gordon would like to send immense apology and money for perforated eardrums. Okay. Where else do you want to go? I mean, that's it. You can get it. Plastic cable tie base, you can fire yeah. in. Yeah, well, I'm Use saying. it with these D-line clips we used before. Yeah. yeah. For so, I mean, now, you like your pouch. I do like I'm going to get back bag. to my pouch. Yeah, yeah. In the clutch bag. I've moved on. I think I'm right. Don't use screwdriver anymore. Just, clutch just, bag. Just this can't fix it to the wall. It's not going on the wall. There you go. So, <laughs> I've, so far, I've done socket boxes, trunking. I haven't stepped up the tray yet, but... Um, yeah, you'll get there, won't you? Yeah, I'll get there. It's, um, yeah. yeah. So, again, have you got something to the equivalent of this? Okay, just let us know if you have, okay? Yeah, we'd be really interested in your stories about this. Okay, would be great. So leave them in, leave them in the comments. Remember, you remember, tell us your favorite uh, hand tools, uh, manufacturers. Maybe this is uh, something, and again, you like from Spit. Yeah. Is it German Spit. then, is it? Spit. Uh, Passload. So people probably know them as Passload, um, but uh, this is the, from the, the, all fall under the uh, ITW construction products brand. Oh, that's what I would have said. Of course you would have done, but obviously we've seen joiners for years, haven't they? They just yeah. go around, they never use hammers anymore, no. they're just doing that. So it's about time uh, <laughs> we, had we joined in the fun, yeah. and this is fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I've noticed that. You go over there, I'll bring the camera in, I'll stumble over with all the kit in a minute. So let's bring this one. Can I just do another one of these? Yeah, okay. You have to, yeah, okay. A small chunk. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you very much. Right, you go away. You go and get into the other one. Okay, and I'll be over to see you. I'll just be rummaging through your clutch you'll, bag. You'll need to talk to the audience while I try and shuffle yeah, across. Exactly. I don't know if everyone remembers the uh, Solvite advert <laughs> in the past where you used to paste somebody to the, uh, someone used to paste them to a, it was shark infested waters, wasn't it? They used to paste yeah, them to the shark infested waters and then uh, just, yeah, paste the, uh, paste the person's coat, put them in the overalls and hang them above shark infested waters. I have got visions of doing that with that uh, spit pass load 40 e I can, uh, yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. We've just got to find a suitable substrate to put <laughs> Gary onto and what to hang him over. So just put in the comments, where, if, you, you know, if anyone knows any shark infested waters. We'll, Hopefully we'll, in the Caribbean. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we are. <laughs> just, just double up. Yeah, get over to the Caribbean. Sort of a road trip, that one. Yeah, well, so, mm. yeah, that's all good. I don't know if they're on the green list though, are we? Can't mention those lists. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. while I was doing that, I take it you took, looked at the, uh, the board, so you know where we're going next now, so you usually look up there, we've done the spit, so yeah. Um, yeah. So what we're going to have a look now is this clutch bag, so let's bring it in again, let's bring that. This is how I would refer to this more as a clutch bag. Just, okay. just Hopefully you've been playing along. I don't mean to work the camera for you, Gary, because you, you just, this is the first time you've let me pick this up. Um, yeah. I'll go and get it for you. Go and get the camera, go and get the camera. I love a pouch, I absolutely love a pouch. I've got a wee hard torch screwdriver pouch. I've got their screwdriver pouch as well as the torque screwdriver pouch. And then they've brought this thing out, which is just dribbleable. It's absolutely gorgeous. We'll do some of the tools on the table as well. So uh, are we, uh, let's bring it in, let's bring it in. Here we go. Just take a moment, drink it up. So of course, look, look you've got two zips and then when you open it up and even got these little straps, obviously, so you can't go, you can't go too far. You've got the Pico, so of course we can do that fine adjustments that we've seen before. So we bring this out in a little tiny screwdriver. Oh, hang on. And there we go, we've got the Pico, which we've reviewed on the channel before, and we would love that one. 
Yeah, but not in the uh, yeah the individual ones, but this got yeah. stumpy. Okay, before any no comments needed on that one and me. Thank you very much. I'm hard enough on myself, so we can push the old stumpy in as well. So there we go, little stumpy one, and you can extend them. So you can use the extending bar, which is this one. Okay, so we can extend it out, so we can make it a longer screwdriver. We use a regular screwdriver. Okay, so we do that, and we can perhaps bring in our s adapter. Okay, so we can bring this in, so we can therefore bring in our our sockets. It's a five mil socket. Push it into place. Look at that, satisfying. Is that? Yeah, and change it out. Maybe you want the thirteen mil, which is down this end. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Just got to get in the right position. Three. Oh, satisfying that, isn't it? Yep. I'm a little bit in love with this. Yep, one hundred percent. It's beautiful. Thirty-one. Yeah, oh. yeah I can put that down all no. week. And you've you've put an extra bit in there, and I can't work out which one I've got to take out. So I'm going to have to keep the extra one because I'm worried I'm going to let go of one. And I, I it's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Works with like some other we have products you like as well. <laughs> right? You could easily put just drop the Speedy Two in there as well, and use the same bits. So. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> My tools of the year so far, mm. the Nipex 5-in-1 pliers. Uh, I reviewed these with our good friend, hashtag secret millionaire. Yeah, Craig Gifford. Mr. Gifford, put his hat on. Yeah, I don't know. Craig, Craig wasn't in last time. He, he, every time he goes out, he gets ill. Then he came up here, he yeah. ended up in hospital for two days. Yes. Went out on his wedding anniversary, right. ended up in hospital, didn't he? Yeah, what happened? He, I think he threw his back. Right. I think. I think that's what he said. Mm. But uh, uh, Yeah. So that, those, those two here, the step cup. Brilliant, yep. absolutely brilliant. We love that, we've reviewed that on the channel. Five in one pliers as well, both of these from Nipex. They're currently my tools of the year, mm. okay? Mm. And we need to bring back the tool wall, don't we? Yes, tool we do, we behind need you. to have a refresh on the tool wall. Well, uh, we've got a review coming out on this pouch soon. Yeah. And we've got another new product from Nipex as well, haven't we? Oh yeah, and, th and these are good, except uh, the, it didn't start off well. Mm. It didn't start off well, did it? Was that because you didn't read the instructions? No, 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 you told me it was for plumbers. Okay, so um, <laughs> you've got a hand cam. Let's bring hand cam in. So what we've got here is the Bix, okay? As in Wheat Bix? Um, as in Bix, yep. okay? And that does up to 50 mil to 20 mil pipe. So in other words, big flexi conduit and uh, conduit. So if I bring in a 25 mil, just give it a little squeeze. Look at that bad boy. Thank you very much. And you don't have to pick this bit up because it's held in the other half. There you go. The Nipex picks. Back, it, well, yeah. I've got a really bad back. Let's do that again. Let's I've do another got one. a really bad back. Okay, so we go in. Just... Yep. That is not hard, is it? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. And there's a secret compartment in it as well um, where there's two spare blades. Mm -hmm. Good luck finding it. I found it in the end. I found it by mistake. Yeah, I found it when I was taking it off. So, what's that in there? What's that in there? It looked like an old five pound note, didn't it? Rolled up. So uh, in we went. So some great tools out there. And again, in the comments, if there's a fantastic tool you haven't seen us even look at, mention it, fly past us, put it in the comments, and no doubt we'll pick one up when we have a go at it. We've had some, yeah, that hand hand eye, if we pick one of them up, didn't we? The Bosch right. Smokey Go 2. Yeah, I don't use screwdrivers anymore, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you won't need this. <laughs> okay, fantastic. All good. Have you got any tools you want to show me? Uh, Keep it clean? No, I think we're, uh, I think we're, we're done. We've got a new one? No, I think we've cleaned out the new tools. We've had a lot of tools in. So yeah, we have. We have. So that's uh, that's good. That's all good. Yeah. Right, okay, so start scrolling through looking for a prize winner. Your pad's over there. I'll talk to people when we do it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the um, EFIX Live TV. Oh, you've okay. got to explain. What? Yeah. We haven't done the GT. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get away, not, not telling anyone. <laughs> okay. There's this thing going around. We'll call it a virus. Yeah. Okay, we, just got to, we don't want to name it. Okay, let's call it a virus. Because I think you know, it makes it bigger and more important. There's a virus going about. And the person that was coming to see us to do the race will this time round caught the virus mm. and they didn't come. So unfortunately, the electrician challenge this week has been postponed. We've got Ross coming in. It wasn't Ross. Um, Ross is stepping in tomorrow to do it, to replace his time with the um, impact driver that he was using before. So yeah, we got caught out. This is probably the first time we've had a disruption due to the virus, isn't it? Yes, and all it the is time. Yeah. We've had a pingdemic. <laughs> yeah, pingdemic. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
Yeah, a couple of things going on there. We, we, our, our younger Joe's not with us, and obviously the guy that um, was going to do the um, race will also got pinged. So um, yeah, he's not with us either. So we apologise for that. So hopefully the extended other elements that we did will make up for losing out this time on the Luden Palazzoli uh, race wall to the electrician's challenge, isn't it? So um, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a shame, but you can win a prize after nine o'clock if you complete the CPD. I've left a link for it in the description below. The Schneider one, the first person to pass it after nine o'clock um, will win the um, locking off kit. We've got some hats and bits and bobs. I'm sure Gordon will throw some more stuff in your box. I don't think you'll be stuck with just one prize. So let's just get rid of Hanker, just in case we're buffering. Um, so that, that's it. But what we like to do now is, once we've given out the prizes, Gordon's just working out who's won at the minute. But we like to go into what we call the plug and socket. Eventually, there will be a, a breakout area here, won't it? We'll go to the breakout area. Yes. Yeah, so we'll hopefully invite people up. You know, these regular viewers will we'll, we'll have an open invitation for some of these people that he keeps calling out on the register to come along and join us on the live stream. And then we'll go back to effectively what will be a bar area. At the minute, we're classing this as our plug and socket, aren't we? We're just doing yeah. a chat. So if you do stay on, we'll be talking all things electrical. By all means, put some things in you want us to try and cover. We can't answer everything. If it's a really difficult question, we will save it for Joe. And that's Joe Robinson. We'll save it for him, won't we? we and he can, he can dive in with a Q&A question or perhaps do a CPD on it or perhaps pop you out around your house, um, ring your doorbell, surprise you on the doorstep, a bit like the Daz Challenge, yeah? Rather than having... Uh, Rather than having the uh, wonderful, um, what's his name? Dash Challenge Radio 1 DJ. Come on, help me out here, a couple of them. What's that? Dash Challenge, who did it? Kenny oh, Baker, right. Baker, Baker, someone Baker. Baker, Baker. In the just comments, people yeah. who've been He'll the Dash doorstep. Kenny Everett. Nah, Kenny Everett, yeah. I would, have done, I would have done my legs then. I would have done the old legs. Oh, the best no. part of all days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please. What was his name? Oh, yeah. Leave him in the comments Baker. below. Danny, Danny Baker. Baker. Yeah, was Danny Baker. And then yeah. the other one that played Alfie Moon on EastEnders. He's, he's been the doorstep challenge. Perhaps we could send Joe round to your house to solve it live in front of you. That'd be good, wouldn't mm. it? Just yeah. Question. yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's a, that's a winner. Mm. Get him out. Yeah. Knocking them doors. Get him out there. Hello. <laughs> Have you asked a question to Efix recently? And he's like, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm here to answer it live. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine work. that. Right. Okay. You got some winners for me. I've I rambled have, on long. I have. So people early in, you always like an early bird. And if you're still on, <laughs> you get a so, well, just, <laughs> they're in with a chance. So what have we got to send you in, Gary? Uh, of, uh... A part reel of insulation tape, yeah. their name and address in the letter. Yeah. Yeah, and some nice words about how great. And if you've used the insulation tape as a first aid kit, because sometimes people do that, don't yeah. they? Apparently you've, so. You've suddenly got you've got blood rushing from your hand <laughs> and you need something and you haven't you can't quite make it to the Right. That, first they, aid thing that's miles away over there, you just reach for the insulation tape. I thought those days had gone. Do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you have used the first aid kit, and we're not suggesting you do, give it a wipe. Give it a wipe. Yeah, yeah please. You're bound to have some hand sanitizer at home. Yeah. Um, so we've got two people. We've got uh, David Pike. David Pike. Yeah. Never heard that name yeah. come out Pike. before. Pike. Yeah. Don't tell him Pike. Wow. Wow. Dad's only for, wow. Yeah, well, no, I'm just, yeah. I'm just thinking of him. <laughs> He's gone from being a first time viewer to a last time viewer, yeah, in a breath. Yeah, mm. I'm, I bet he's never heard that one before, has he? Mm. So David Pikes wants to congratulations, David. Yes. Yep. And, Send us something in first. And Azuri Electrical. Okay, never heard of either of them. Ah, Azuri Electrical. I, I think we've. I've heard it when we were. We sent when we used to physically go out. I think. Azuri How long ago was this? Yeah. Back when you were what, fifty-two? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Oh, we lost something in the background. Gordon's yeah. had a birthday last week. Yep. There we go. Yeah. It's off again. <laughs> so there we go. So two winners, yeah. Send in the partly used reel of insulation tape. Yes. And um, your name and address. If you've, just, if you've just got blue and red, we suspect you may be a plumber. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Good thinking, Batman. Or oh, you haven't updated your tool. Or you send us some PTFE tape. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's a giveaway. <laughs> yeah. We've got a video coming up soon where you were mer 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 properly laying to plumbers, don't you, at the start? Yeah. Yeah. Good, uh, yeah. Properly laying to plumbers. That yeah, I know it is. <laughs> But you properly lay into them, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, um, yeah, if you two get your prize, um, your, your gifts over to me, swap shop, remember the, the, the thing, you send me something, I send you something in return, 50% uh, return rate. Do not expect it next day delivery because we're not quick this end. And we apologise if you're watching and you've won last time out. It's sitting over there ready to go. Unfortunately, Joe's not in, so the post hasn't been done. Another victim of the pingdemic. Yes, he was, yeah. yeah. So we've lost, and that's, that's younger Joe, that's your son. You lost him to the pingdemic. Yeah. He, went, he went and did a concert, didn't he? Yeah. yeah and it cost us two weeks. Yeah. Constance, yeah. two weeks. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, the guy that was going to do the race for Louis also got pinged. So but we have got Ross coming back tomorrow, which will be, be super uh, exciting. Which will be fun. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's holding top spot at the minute, but mm. con controversial with the impact driver. Uh, but if anyone else, and we have got some people booked in to do it, haven't we? We've got... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got Bardell Electrical. Yes. They're going to come up. We've got my... Well, I hardly know them. I don't think I've worked with them for years. Uh, my mates, um, Matt O'Dell and the soon-to-be-married Marcus Barrett. Um, right. Yeah, so... Um, who else we got coming up? Someone who does uh, prescribers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's yeah. been practising. Yeah, he has, he has. He's shown us some pictures. Yeah, we've got Dr. Electric's coming up with his uh, apprentice, Adam. So they're coming up. Yeah. yeah. So I always find it hard to call them apprentices when they're adults. Mm. Adults retraining. Perhaps we ought to do a video on how to retrain to be, as an adult to become an electrician, Gordon. I think there's a, there's a gap in the in market. Wales. In Wales. Yeah, in, in, in a certain village in Wales. How yeah. that we have to find the local electrician. I've, I've hunted him down. He's three doors down from you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we've got lots of people want to come. We still need people to come and do it. Obviously, we need, what, about 30 people a year to do it, really, don't we? Yes. To keep us going. So, yeah. um, we apologise we didn't do it this time. Hopefully, we've made up for it with other things, with your spit. Oh. Yeah, your spickle. Oh, I mean, yeah. Clutch bag. So we're, we're all good. So I like the Dewalt stapler when I had that. That was all, I mean, yeah. but it was, if you could only use it for one thing. Stapling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh. I did, I did like, I wonder how many of they, them they shifted, them Dewalt staplers. When you sit in action, I went and see Dave Roach use one. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably quick first fix. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, mm. off he went. Mm. That's, uh, yeah. Right, wow. we're, we're in the plug and socket now, effectively, so we can relax now. So if, you, if you've joined us to this point, we've given away the prizes. It is seven minutes till nine o'clock, so if you want to go off and do the, the CPD, that starts from nine o'clock. But yeah, so we're just chilling out. Where do you want to go, young man? Uh, I don't know what we've got, the power tools. Let's just have a flick back through the comments here on the power tools. So effectively, so. I mean, Eddie's on. Eddie's Pegasus, on. Yes. So he's, he, we know he's, he's gone to the red side. Yeah, well... He, Addy, I hadn't noticed that Milwaukee stuff that he had. God, he's got everything. Yeah, he's going to be repainting his van soon. He's going to. He's got a blue van. Change yeah. his logo. He's, he's got a yeah a blue mill. Um, what's his name? Makita coloured van, hasn't he? Yeah. And everything inside it's Milwaukee. Yeah. So I'm just flicking through here. So, How did yeah. we get on with these templates? Did the bloke come back to us? No, he hasn't yet. No. We need to chase them up. We do. Good little mission for them. Yeah, we've got some. Uh, Eddie's got a template for the Legrand Salamander trunking, hasn't he? We've mm -hmm. reviewed that on the challenge. Ch challenge. So, so we're in the, the plug and socket now. We've reviewed yeah. that on the channel. That's IP4X, is it? Yes. And IP, is it 55, the other one? Mm. Yeah, trunking. And um, Eddie's made a template, and we tried to get 10 of them done. We'd like to give them away, wouldn't we? We would. Re really we'll good idea. made first. Just, yeah. 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 We should have our team. Sheep metal could have been pinged them at Gary. Everyone's got at the minute, so we'll have to uh, yeah. look into that. So let's have a look. We've got Bosch. We've still got, yeah, I think mainly, at the minute, I'd say mainly. Not DeWalt, is it? That's a, that's a DeWalt. DeWalt. Yeah, yeah. DeWalt, DeWalt, DeWalt. 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 Yeah. Volt Disney, Makita. Oh no, it's, no, it's, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say mainly the audience tonight are uh, yeah. Makitas. Devolt. Devolt. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. It's still Devolt. But have they brought out any new tools recently? We just haven't seen. Them. I mean, what? I mean, and it's, we like Makita because they're like. Do we? Well, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it. We haven't actually. We've the, actually the never reviewed. The impact drive from the drill are immense. Yeah, we've actually <laughs> never reviewed the drill, but we use it all the time. Oh, it's incredible. And it just never runs out. No. Never need charging. Um, Incredible bit of kit. Yeah, but they've got the side, isn't there? Must be like a in Japan. There must be sort of a corner of the factory where I don't know. It's bit, it, I'm going to get it wrong. Yeah. M and Q. Which one did all the crazy stuff for Bond? Uh, it was, was that Q? Q. Yeah. So they must Q? have a yeah, Q. I think it was Q. Well, Q. Yeah. Yeah. So they must have a Q going around. I know. We'll have a Hoover strapped to the back of somebody, and they could go around. I saw that in the, yeah. the, the, the uh, train station on Sunday. Bloke walking around. I was trying to get on the train. It run late, and I looked back, and I was, I was torn between getting the train and taking a photograph of somebody with a Makita Hoover on their back. I thought, wow, that's crazy. So yeah, he was going around hoovering. Yeah. So um, yeah. No, it was, um, oh, right. yeah. So there's that, but then Milwaukee keep coming out with sort of very specific tools, like the hole punch. Which is. Yeah, but what does that do? Punch holes. What else does it do? Uh, punch holes. Just punch. And, and how yeah. cheap is it? That's not very cheap. It's ridiculously priced. Is and it the over punches a are incredibly expensive as well. Is um, it over a thousand? Yeah, it was in one one about 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 a thousand when he put the vat in there. Of course, they yeah. sent us one for free, didn't they? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said, "Do no, 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 just just clarify that they sent us one for free, didn't they?" No, they didn't. No, no, no. no, no, no. You no. you went, yeah, 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 yeah. 
just... we buy an incredible amount of kit. You know, Spitz come, we've got these Makita things, we've got the heated vest, we've got a 400 quid call box. We don't get sent this stuff. Yeah, we just we just buy it and review it. Yeah, no, it's, um, we'll have a... <laughs> the flies, have you seen any flies today? The minute we went live, there's two flies yeah. in there. Yeah, that's, that's a good ball, it's attracting them. Or the weather. They've yeah. all come in from guys. Absolutely tipped it down today. Mm. Absolutely tipped it down. So it's good. <laughs> so it's yeah, down. The, people have swapped from uh, swapped the Dewalt from Makita. So it's uh, yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, perhaps we need to stray onto the yellow brand at some point. Well, as people have rightly said, uh, Dewalt is made and owned by Black and Decker. But someone did a great video showing you who owns all of the different power tool brands. Oh, is it a mystery? Is it, is it when you find out, you're like, oh, really? Well, Ryobi. Yeah. Yeah. Is basically. Milwaukee as well, same company, TTI. Uh, there's always a, yeah. Yeah. It's always a twist, yeah. isn't there? But they never make the batteries from the cheap one, but the expensive one. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be telling me that screw fix and B&Q are owned by the same people. <laughs> yeah, so some people swear by little tools. Cost would do it's always, always something in the middle of oh. that to tell the isn't it? Yeah, well, when the pandemic came, wasn't it? It was like you can only buy three sets of spanners at any one time, wasn't it? Uh, people were panic buying spanners, weren't they, and things like yeah. that. I love that middle aisle. <clears> love <throat> it. You go down there, you've got beach shoes, you've got books for the kids, you've got a set of, you know, yeah. a set of lamps and screwdrivers and all the rest of it. By the time you get to the alcohol, you, you don't know whether you're coming or going, do you? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just annoying now isn't it yeah does anyone still use 110 volt sds drills that's richard brooke there so suggest richard hasn't refreshed his toolbox recently i've got one have you yeah. 110 volt yeah wow. and the transformer well, i've got no kit have i hmm. I'm, I'm, there's a couple of diy things i've got to do at home i keep forgetting to bring take the, the um what's it called the makita battery drill with me yeah i've got lovely matt odell's cut a massive uh, cable drum He's cut it down for me and jigsawed it out so it fits in my living room with a conduit leg that um, Pegasus made for me. Yeah. So I can have a, a, a computer table made yeah. out of things that are electrical so I can do my work at home. Oh, yeah. it's, it's laid down by, and my wife is so forgiving, it's laid down by the side of the settee for almost a year. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how long have I been left Tresham? <laughs> yeah. Mac, Mac, yeah. Because I haven't got a drill. Yeah. I need to take one home. And I need to take the, what's the thing with it I've lost top dead centre on? The multi tool. Need to take that as well. Oh, right. I keep forgetting to take yeah. both of them. Well, so I need to take yeah, this weekend, perhaps. No, yeah. I've had it. I'll have to bring it back in. Oh, you got it home? Yeah. Try and remember tomorrow. Yeah, if I can take them two home, I can get me DIY done. Yeah. Shell will be getting excited now. She'll be like, oh, I'm going to finally get it. The amount of times we've had to walk around this table. It's yeah. always a way, isn't it? I think, you know, if you're an electrician, you don't tend to do all the jobs you should do at home, do you? Cobbler's kids have the worst shoes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the same goes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah, for yeah. those older people. That's all good. Did the internet not fall off tonight? Did we not have any issues? We're did, okay at the minute. Did we, well, that's okay. Uh, any buffering yeah. issues? No, but we've got a complaint from Mrs. Hayes. She's been waiting ages for that tail. I know. It's all right, Michelle. He's going to make it up to it. He's going to take you on a trip to Nuneaton. <laughs> We're back to Middlesbrough Transport. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to go to the park. Watford <laughs> Gap. Yeah, there's a service. I'm going to take her to the, uh, what's it called? The Blue Bear or something service station, is it called? Or yeah. Boar, Blue Boar, is it or something? No, I think they've gone now. They've they? rebranded. Yeah, yeah, you're going back a bit. Yeah, you, my dad. Probably, you probably still remember when Granada. No, no, no. My, da my, dad, my dad was a bit of a lunatic at times. He calmed down a lot when he had um, his kids. But he used, to, he used to ride a motorbike and they used to go, I think it was the Blue Boar. Is that a, is that a place on the, off the A1? Yeah. Yep. So they used to bomb there all on their motorbikes. I mean, a lot of them. They'd go into a pub, okay, or wherever they were going. They'd go in, they'd order like 20 pints. And the bloke would tell them the bill and they'd go, it's cheaper down the road. And they'd get back on the motorbikes and drive down the road, leaving the bloke with 20 points on there. He said, he dad used to say, he's hardly going to climb over, is he going to have a chance, is he? He's like, yeah, <laughs> absolute idiot. Yeah. Cool. He was classic though. You ever crossed him? Oh, he'd wait forever to get you back. Yeah. He just, just wouldn't let it go. He once got ripped off by a, by a place that sold him a car. Mm -hmm. so, so they ripped him off, okay, right, so he, he let it go. So what he used to do, he used to, on the way home from work, it was getting a bit dark. He'd pull up his car, okay, way before proper CCTV or anything like that, and he'd, and he'd go and have a look at some of their cars. So as he, as, he, as he bent in to have a look in the window, he'd press his knee into the side of the door and just leave it with a dent, and he'd go oh. to the next one and do the wing. Charming. Yeah? Yeah. You wouldn't cross that bloke. <laughs> He'd just get you back certainly. It was hilarious. Yeah, he said, I used to go. He said, I used to enjoy coming back that way home from work. So I always pull up, just put a little dent in one of the wings. Oh, <laughs> back in the day, you can imagine how thin those wings were. Yeah. yeah. 
Richard's gone off. Yeah, Richard's off. Richard. Richard. He's off. He's been on. He's been on all the time, but he's he's off. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. He's got his. Well, he's got his light audio speakers. He's, uh, Richard who? Richard Gorn. Oh, Richard Gorn. I meant the Brookie. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, no, no. Mr. Gorn. He's still on there. He's got kids as well. So he's got young kids. And Richard Glynn's off. He's just over the hill. So it's yeah, it's getting towards bedtime. Folks. Oh, is it? Are we? Yeah. Are we? We're an hour in. No, no, we're doing all right. Yeah. We'll keep going. So, so talk electrical. That'll help. Uh, <laughs> Not my dad's, my dad's well, evening up. So Mike from Greenhawk Construction, he's still on it. He's got his wife. His wife didn't have wardrobes for five years. So there you wow. go. And he's in the building. He does. He does, I don't he know does everything. Watch, <laughs> yeah, I don't watch Greenhawk Construction, but he doesn't just. He's sort of electrical plus just about everything else, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, we don't build an extension and uh, send it all out for contractors. We do a lot, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So, so. Every spade in the ground, every little bit of plaster on the wall. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. So I enjoy some of. Uh, I sort of enjoy those videos actually. Just dip in there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I do as well. Yeah. 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 It's hard because I think I think sometimes people comment and then jump back out. We get a lot of that, don't we? Yeah. Oh, I just make out I've commented on this video, so people think I'm watching it. Whereas when I watch a video, I watch a video. Yeah. I don't, no, I don't yeah, to get in. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, and I don't need to leave a comment to say I've put a flag, you know, mm. flag in the sand to say I've watched it. Yeah. Because Craig said that to me one time, Mr. Gifford. He said, do you watch my videos? I went, yeah, yeah, when I can. I'll definitely watch your videos. I'll watch yeah. your, your older house and um, renovation and rest. Oh, right, okay, because I didn't leave a comment. Yeah. So I think, but, but, but sometimes people watch three seconds of it, leave a comment and jump back out, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can always tell, because sometimes the comment is, you didn't do this. Well, clearly, <laughs> you didn't watch the video, did you? So. We had, one, we had one, one time, didn't we? Um, What's that bloke's name? Um, Andrew from Cambridge, what's his name? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Doorbell transformers. No, 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 door. no. Arts and electrics. Oh, right. That's it. So we'd in the video, he'd mm -hmm. left a lovely comment in mm -hmm. the video, and in that video, we'd search for local electricians in Cambridge, and he came up number one, didn't he? Yeah. He never watched the video, did he? Yeah. He just left a comment and never watched the video. <laughs> so I commented back. Did you not notice we shouted you out in the video? Oh, I never got to that bit. I left a comment and walked out. Yeah, if you watch it. So someone says, wax fruit, no, not rich. No, it's, no, it's real. It's, uh, it's real. So. Yeah. I only like the strawberries and you ate all them first, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Nice, actually. Yeah, Peachy they nice. smelled gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, we, we were obviously, what were we doing with them today? Well, for those who watched earlier, we were dimming the light over the top of them. Colour entry. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's, and I like the fact you put we put that bluish towel in there because when you got to 6,000 6, Kelvin, it, it gave an odd look, didn't it? You think to yourself, it wasn't, wasn't to try and suggest the light was odd looking. It was, you've got it in the wrong application and you've got the wrong stuff in the room. Mm. Yeah, and it makes a massive difference, doesn't it? So if you always come out, if you ever buy a, buy a suit, you think it's black and you come out and it's blue, it's because the lighting in the shop was yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh. well, that's my excuse anyway. So. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. Oh, so what else is going on? So what else yeah, have we got? Zuri left with his wife had to wash in a buggy for two months while I was out sorting the bathroom out. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. Mm. I've got a confession there. Yeah, we had a. Yeah, we had an extension built. It was one of them saying, "When do you stop using that bit and get your new kitchen in?" Yeah, we were cooking in the garage on a camp and stuff for, yeah. for a few weeks. But, well, uh, well, Joe Robinson's currently took his kitchen out, hasn't he? Mm. Yeah, I'd imagine he's uh, yeah living on some sort of a temporary. Uh, Temporary arrangement. Is he in there? As uh, you mentioned, Joe tonight. Yeah. Is he in there? Coming in away. I'll read the description. <laughs> EMT, don't thread it. Well, EMT? Yeah, it Can you not thread EMT? I wish people would send us that as a message. I say, it's a bit like when that one we did the drill in the hole in the wall. So we did a top tip. If you drill a hole in the wall in the wrong place that cannot have a plastic fixing in it, I came up with a solution where you put a piece of copper in there. Effectively, it worked as an anchor. Yeah. And the amount of people that sent me the top tip was drill the right size hole. That, that's not a tip though, is it? No. So when I drill a hole, I drill the right size hole. There's your top tip. Mm. Well, God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. I've given you a top tip. I've had to solve it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. You're everywhere with that. I need you? a top tip. Why don't we get the peach juice out there? Juicy. Yeah, top well, definitely tip. Definitely not waxed. EMT. What's the? It's R, R, RMT, isn't it? Rigid metal tube or something. Or like IMT, intermediate I'm, metal that's tube. That's the one. Yeah, but yeah, the EMT is that the really thin walled stuff. Yeah. So if you have a look at American electricians. Yeah. I hope there's none on tonight because this is normally when it turns nasty. Um, <laughs> not from us. <laughs> not from <laughs> us. No, but we've. Uh, they. Uh, you see this immaculate work they do, all this conduit really... Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it like Bent. works a lot like it. It's like an organ in a cathedral, you know, all those pipes <laughs> going up the wall. Immaculate, yeah? Yeah. 
But then you realise actually, it's it's you could you could just bend. it's it's like having an FP two hundred with no outer sheathing on. Yeah. You could just sort of bend it with your hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. oh, it looks immaculate. And they use them them foot benders, don't they? Yeah. But you, yeah. you, you try and do that with our conduit, mm. real conduit. Yeah, yeah, but you can't do it, can you? It's a right struggle. And I've seen a couple of colleges that have got them donated. And I just looked at it and thought, those students are going to injure their backs. <laughs> you know, they, they, this, is, this is not a positive. Yeah, no, it was um, that one. So we have got a series coming up on... Uh, have we? On conduit, haven't we? What? What, me and you are doing it, are we? No, I'm not doing it, no. Jeez. I don't, I don't you? No. I only use, I only <laughs> use that now. So, so the keen eyed amongst you that might have come in, yeah, when you need something <laughs> fixing at the wall, yeah, forever. I'm your man, yeah, those things on the outside will never come in off, yeah, we'll be moved on from here and they'll still be stuck to all. No, um, we're Jake, Jake down, don't we? Yes, yeah, yeah, so, um, it was great. So, if you stayed on, the, the few people that stayed on, he'd done a little video for us how to be a JTL apprentice, and we hinted at the back end of that that he's done a series of videos. So he's not completely series yet, but um, I think we've done nine, haven't we? Yeah, so, so there's a, there's a, all the way through from the basics. Okay, yeah. I'm not suggesting if you're an electrician watching this, you need the basics, but obviously you might be a bit rusty. rusty. Your conduit skills might be a bit rusty. rusty. <laughs> yeah, that you, you want to see that. But um, it was nice to bring two college lecturers together, and um, it was remarkable at times because my son was in. He couldn't he couldn't fathom the difference between us. So we between one, you and Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, right. I, I think we, we're we're that similar looking and built. That um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I had to have a word with him at one point, Jake. I said, fancy yeah. going down the gym, mate. You, yeah. need to, you need to up your game a little bit, then yeah. Bless him. Yeah. What, what, a, what a nice bloke. Yeah, so um, yeah, look out for that. We're going to try and spice it up a bit. Mm. And again, you know, we'll, we'll, take, uh, yeah. we'll take all comers on with expertise in areas, won't we? Well, Greenhawks never used Gal, so great series coming up. You'll love it. But if you, if you don't like the thread bit, just use the Comlock stuff. Looks the same, but... Yeah, uh, I mean... The people that say you're after the decorative, yeah. yeah. To pop that con knocks brilliant. Mm. I just, I mean, it was it, yeah. One grub screw, yeah, and it was bullet tight, wasn't it? Yeah. You think it's screwed to the wall? You yeah. know, it's not a gas tight installation, is it? So, mm. um, yeah, that was good. But no, if Jake's still on, I know he was on earlier on. He's got a lot on. He's got a couple of dogs that need attention. Uh, wonderful girlfriend, so I'd imagine he had a few minutes with us. But yeah, what a, what a nice bloke. So hopefully we'll get some more stuff with him. We're always looking for people to collaborate with, um, and we. Yeah, yeah, to do yep. stuff with. Yeah. Yep. We've had EV Nick on the channel. Yep. We've had yeah, uh, Craig Giffords come in and done tour yeah, review with us. You get, uh, you get something named after you, like little Nick Step. Yeah, little Nick Step. We, we almost got um, Apprentice One to One, didn't we? We nearly got Mark Allison in. Um, unfortunately, what happened to Mark? Yeah, he got uh, yeah, the ping demic. He got a ping demic. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he never made it in. He was due to come in and do a couple of videos with me. Yeah. That's a shame. It's an open invitation, Mark. You know, you're welcome to come back. Um, yeah, whenever you can, really. Whenever you're uh, passing by. Yeah. Or would you like? To, is there somebody you'd like to see take on the electricians' challenge? See where they. Yeah. Yeah. Someone out there. Someone's big on Instagram or uh, yeah, alternative YouTubers. Alternative? You describe an alternative YouTuber. I'm not Ethan. <laughs> I was just thinking of the word that was alternative TV, wasn't it? Well, like, plumber. Let's get plumber. 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 Yeah. An alternative electrician. Yeah. He's a plumber. Get a builder in to do it something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like the sound of that. Yeah. We got we got called alternative media once, didn't yeah. we? We've got Greenhall. He would love to just time scales. Of course, it's just time. Yeah, just fit it in, pencil it in months in advance. We're yeah. not bothered. But, uh, and again, yeah. if you want to stay overnight, we'll definitely pick the hotel up for you, yes. won't we? Yeah. yeah. So it, it, so Greenhawk, if you want to come up and see us, and you want to come up, you know, in an afternoon, you know, work in the morning, come up in the afternoon, we'll pick the hotel up for you as long as you have plenty of advance. Uh, we can do the race wall and have a yeah, you know, hopefully do a video tour review or something, won't we? Mm. Yeah, we'll, or we'll crash through the back of your van looking for stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, always yeah. welcome. Yeah. yeah, we've been called before for for not for not doing collabs, have we? Yeah, we're super keen. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, it's, absolutely. It's, it's yeah. Complete opposite. You know, when people throw stuff at me on Instagram or things like that, you know, just, I just well, that's yeah. not us, is it? But it's got to be a collab. It's got to be yeah, something different, new. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, I don't uh, site, we're keen to get out the site as well, so we've got we have to have some Ooh. more visits. We're yeah, keen we're, 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 we saw Kyle from uh, from Powercore with his black card. Yeah, that's what. I, I, yeah, we turned up there. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You know, Hello, I'm handsome. When it? it was like really, <laughs> you turn up these. Why can't they send you somebody? It's like a giraffe. Yeah. They don't. He was like, he stood there and I went, oh mate, it's like yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, 
you're pretty Found handsome. Somebody handsome, then three gentlemen <laughs> vanished into the toilet. Four gentlemen. So there you go. That, was, uh, that video is coming up. You will see that soon. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. yeah. Four gentlemen in a toilet. Yeah, there's some funny <laughs> bits in there. Doesn't get more glamorous than that, does it? You have to be a little bit careful with Phillips, but there's there a few funny bits in there, aren't there? Yeah, some real yeah, good moments. But yeah, what a, what a great bloke. 25 years old, 10 years later, he's running a team for Powercore. Yeah. Would you suggest that a bloke was quite knowledgeable? Yeah, uh, it, yeah, he was. And he, okay. What did he say? It wasn't easy. <laughs> no, he's, he took a deep breath and said it wasn't easy. Yeah, to go from retail to running a team in 10 years as somebody's invested in themselves. Yeah. And I think someone said, didn't they, had he done a, because he's got a gold card, had he done his AM2? I'm sure he said off camera to us, he'd done his AM2. Mm. Of course, you don't get all the bits in the, in the video, do you? People are diving in. How did he get a, how did he get a gold card without an AM2? You know, just, just take a breath, innit? I've had a few, mm. again, no one's uh, necessarily honest. I'll put some posts out on Twitter. The Twitter responses, first thing to do is attack. I, I, I was very close at the weekend to just pulling myself off Twitter. Put something on, attack. Put another thing on, attack. I said to both of them, yeah, yeah, pull it in. Don't do the Twitter thing. <laughs> Jump in with a, with a negative. <laughs> Gee whiz. Yeah. What is that all about? Yeah. You know, actively trying to help people. Let's go in with a negative. Yeah, steak night. When was steak night in the room? Was that Tuesday? Thursday. 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 That was last, last week, Eddie. Um, Eddie, yeah, yeah, and it's all right. It's mm. great because I, I, I love the railway, but it's not a deal breaker if you're not there on a Thursday. Yeah. I, uh, me and um, Carol had a little little table with Finn. You know, yeah, we had a little steak night. It was great. Yeah. Um, but it could have been any night. The food's still fantastic whenever you go. It's not mm. like oh, they peak on a Thursday. They don't. Mm. Um, but uh, it's good. Oh, like yeah. the tagular telly chicken garlic bread last yeah. night and another pudding. Nice. Yeah. Someone said David Savory for principal. I'd love to have David back. He's actually done it before. He has done it. Yeah. As nice as Nigel as well. As well. As well. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, and again, but not when we're here. When we're on we, the, we were at an event. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were at an event, and what an incredibly intelligent bloke. Mm. I mean, yeah, they do the bottom thing, don't they? They do Rick Mal and um, what's the other one? Aid Edmondson. Yeah. Yeah. And they do it brilliantly, and that's why they do YouTube, and they're hilarious. And I must admit, out of everyone that I really watch, I always pick up as many of those as I can. Yeah. But he's an incredibly intelligent guy. What a, a nice bloke. What a nice bloke. And his name's David. Mm -hmm. The amount of people who's, he's never been Dave. Dave <laughs> oh, Savo right. and all the rest of it they go in with. It's David <laughs> Savory. But um, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'd love him to come back. I spent, I spent, uh, spent a little while, a whole day with him once. That was fantastic. Any other good comments coming in? Yeah, there's lots of people want to. Yeah, there's all you, all you yeah, CGR here. Yeah, well, everyone, yeah, there's a few people. Chris from CGR just reached out to me today and said when he can come, which is really close. It's on the wrong day, and I've now got to work out whether I can be here on the wrong day. I haven't got any accommodation. I've got all kinds of trouble. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's in Bradford, and he said, Gaz, I want to come and see you. And I absolutely want to see Chris again. I spent some time, I spent a whole day with Chris before. And it's a little bit awkward. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I've got a wedding to go to and all sorts of stuff. So I don't know if I can make it yet. So yeah. no, I'll be disappointed if I don't get Chris from CJR. Again, nice bloke, mm. really nice bloke, as is obviously the Bundy. There's a lot of people worried though now. You know, there's some, there's some good times up there. Yeah, yeah I'd have come early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have come when the, when the top time was like three and a half minutes, 3.53, yeah. 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 So, um, so where are we, yeah. No, Craig did Craig, I don't need to say Gifford then. Craig did a great time, didn't he? Yeah. Great time. But Jake, yeah, Jake took him out. He he's been to more gyms than Craig's been to. Unless Jim owned a calf. Uh, yeah. And then uh, so he's gone to that. Uh, have we ever fitted a pod point EV charger? Uh, pod point, pod point? No, we didn't pod point, didn't we? No. We've had pod points, could we did them with EV Nick, didn't we? Uh, we had no, them on the, the table. Pod point's the round one. Yeah, we had the cheapest one online, yeah. Didn't we have them? Four four nine. Wasn't that the replenished? Didn't we have one in the background of pod point? No, we didn't have pod point. That was a oh. wall box. Ah, wall box. Hacked. There's no winner in that conversation, yeah, is there? We have corrected it, though. <laughs> <laughs> we have corrected it. Yeah, so no, we haven't done a pod point. Uh, Favourite EV charging point? Go on, because we nearly did this last time. We said they were like ladies. Or, sorry, let's, let's pull that back. Significant other in your life, because right. it could be the other way around. It could be a gentleman, yeah. it could be a lady, it could be your favourite pet. Yeah. You're never going to get everything out of an EV charger. There'll be lots of great features. They'll always leave you needing something, won't they? Yeah. That's what we've found, haven't we? Yeah. This, this, and this, but they don't do that. Mm -hmm. Favourite one? I'm torn. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're torn between. I love the easy. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And it looks beautiful. Name says it all, but it, that's got 
for commercial, great. 100%. We've got one in, we haven't really uh, done it. We haven't seen it yet on the channel, but we've got the Indra one at the minute. You told everybody. Yeah. You just, you, what's wrong? You've, sp you've spilled that one. It got the Indra one, yeah. That's yeah. good. That does lots of things, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're looking at the Indra. That's, that's a clever bit of kit. Uh, and what's the other one you'd throw in the mix? Uh, da, da, da. In the mix, well, I've got to do three. Got to go my energy, yeah? Does everything nearly? Oh, no, yeah. Well, yeah, well you yeah. yeah, we, can't, we can't guess what's in your head. <laughs> can't, well, okay. well, I was leaving room for you. Yeah, well, oh, right, okay, yeah. So I'd, I'd say, yeah, if I was doing a, if I was doing a multi, a multi commercial installation, car park, I've got a 80 EV charging point, I've only got a 60 amp, you know, effectively 60 amps worth of current to give me. Easy every week of the year, every day of the month, yeah. every minute of the week, mm. yeah, all the rest of it, yeah, one hundred percent would be on those. If I was having having one on the side of my house, I quite like the Anderson A2. Comes complete with its RCD remote from the install. I like the look of those, and Did I love forget that actually. What the what they think the RCD is built in? Yeah, it hasn't been built in for six months. I no, think now catches them out. Yeah. There's people been fitting them out there and recording themselves fitting them. Yeah. Without an RCD. And even doing a video that they can't get it to pass the RCD test. No. Wow. Yeah. Now, for me, yeah, if something, and, and we've, we've done bits with, with, uh, with my energy products, yeah, and sometimes it's the, you know, the first time you've done something with, with that relay card in yeah. the, yeah, in we the did. unit, and sometimes <laughs> you have to ring the support desk. They were brilliant. But they were brilliant. <laughs> and that was, so yeah, that, that, and this is me, you know, I like to. Got another one. One of us reads the instructions, and someone doesn't. And but sometimes you still put something in, and you need to. Uh, yeah, you've read the instructions. Now I'm not getting the right answer yet. So you ring the help desk. That's, that's normally my. Call but he, he knew exactly what you were talking about, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, he, he put you on mute, laughed a couple of times, <laughs> yeah. came back. Another one. <laughs> yeah, came back in. Another one. So, so, so what you're saying now? Well, I'm just guessing what you're saying. So if you had an Anderson A2 EV charging point, haven't had an haven't had an A-type acid in for nearly six months. Yeah. And you tested it, and you couldn't get it disconnected in the times. Yeah. You're saying you would have rang Anderson. So I, I would have done. Yeah. That, that would be well, because normally... you because obviously you're going to put a certificate into your competent person scheme. Yeah. And you're going to have to record the results for the RCD. It doesn't exist. Yeah, doesn't no, exist. It is. I think it does exist. We clarified that. It, it, it's, it's. They've dialed it back. I think someone said it possibly. Sometimes doesn't trip in the times it does, and that comes through in the test results. Yeah, because so. they want you to put one upstream, downstream. Uh, now, let's get it right. Yeah. Downstream. Yeah. Allegedly, the one in the unit is non-compliant. Yeah, is what yeah. I heard. They've dialed it back, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. They well, don't want you to rely on the one in it. Yeah. So, um, and, and again, let's, let's think about it, because we've had this, haven't we? If the RCD's in the EV charging point, it's great, it's in the EV charging point. How many times can you get the cable to it and not have to RCD the cable? Yeah. That's probably a 50-50. Mm. Well, Take the think. RCD out the, the unit. Yeah. It saves a little bit of money on the install, doesn't it, from the, the EV charging point, point of view? Yeah. There's no A-type RCD in it, a little bit less to buy. You've got to put the RCD on the cable, have it there. Mm. If you end up having two, we did, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we ended up having two. So, oh, there was an uproar, weren't there? Well, you got two hearts. <laughs> it's its own circuit. It's going to trip. If it trips the one in the house or the one in the EV charger, it's not the end of the world, folks. It's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. It's not turning off half the house. It's just turning off the circuit under problem. It was one of them, wasn't it? Yeah. They love a comment, don't they? <laughs> They'll be telling you next, you can't put stuff in the meter box. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Any other bits that we can pick up, or have we still got people on? Believe yeah, it or plenty not, of people we, on, yeah. I mean, the, we're an hour uh, and 20 minutes in. Yes, yeah, so Billy's right, yeah. It's the DC and the Anderson, the DC leakage element of the RCD function is in the unit. It is. The A uh, type one is in, but doesn't really work as quite intended. So, the instructions state yeah. you should put a upstream yeah. uh, RCD. I think they've put it in electronically and decided to dial it out. So to dial it out, they've just changed its parameters. Yeah, just they've done something with it. It's, it's, it's woofing down now. So if you've got a noise coming in on the, uh, the <laughs> thing, rain, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It'll, it'll be in with us in a minute. Yeah. Anything else to, to cover on the EVs? Uh, no, uh, Mike's looking to do. So we are, uh, yeah. So if a lot of people are looking to do the EV course. Yeah. So the good news is, and watch this. We may have some. What free training? Video. We may have some CPD support for people looking through the EV course coming up soon. Free videos on EV. Who yeah. knew that was coming next? Yeah. I bet the scripts have all been written, haven't they? Could be. Uh, I bet they've already been there. passed. Yeah. Just got to get him off his holiday. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, all good. So it's uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Like that rain now. That was nothing compared to earlier on. Was no, it, it wasn't. It, no, it, no. Was like, it was like he was coming in. It was that loud. <laughs> yeah. The bloke next door, the carpenter, what's his name, Noah, he was out there, wasn't he? He was, he was, he was putting bits of pallet wood into a boat at one point, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, Noah next door. Starting to herd the animals. <laughs> he was, wasn't he? There was, there was a couple of this and a couple of that and a couple of the other all piling in the back, but it was coming down like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was a, a heavy one. Mm. Oh, what have we got coming up? So this weekend, what are we releasing? Come on, people, people are so on So we've got now. the one on the adapters. Yeah, the adapters uh, this weekend. Up. What else got, is this uh, weekend? We've got a Schneider Consumer Unit review coming we up have. as well. We've got a uh, Prem Spec, uh, Prem Spec Verso oh, board. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Consumer Unit review. Yeah. Um, there's plenty out there, isn't there? There's a lot of people in the Consumer Unit market, haven't they? So um, they've yes. gone in, haven't they? Uh, yeah. yeah Pulled him. Yeah. Mm. You can hear it now, can you? Yeah, that's you can hear it now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're not going <laughs> home yet. Yeah, NJ Gill can hear the rain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's that? Mr. Gill. Gill. Yeah. Mr. Gill's on. All yeah. oh, right, okay. We, we, infamy. Right. I got a head torch, weren't it? When he, when he put it on. Is that the guy on Instagram? <laughs> yeah. yeah, brilliant. Lovely. He comments a lot. He got called out by um, David Savory. He gave him a comment about his lamps, yeah. corrected him. So right. that was good. Mm. Yeah, how nice is that? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll bump into him one day, Mr. Gill. Yeah. Yeah, when we go, yeah. When the world comes back to normal, do we think we'll ever get to normal? Oh, I don't know, it keeps tripping you up, doesn't it? You think you're getting there, and suddenly there's a, there's a variant. Variant. Well, if. <laughs> or a pandemic. I just want to say if the A variant comes back, I'm vaccinated on that one. What are we on at the minute? D. Yeah, D. But if A comes back, <laughs> I'm on it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that A variant comes back, I'm, I'm all good. Yeah. I'm all good. Right, okay. Oh, no, I think we're winding down now. Are we winding? Yeah. yeah. Is there still people on? Yes. Gavin Geaney was first in. He was on early. He's still uh, in. Yeah. Sorry didn't win, Gav. Yeah. But uh, get a free certificate <laughs> if you enter our CPDs. Yeah. And uh, nine plus installation. He's, he's still on, but obviously, yeah. He's, uh, he's uh, yeah. A lot of people who do two things at once, they're probably watching some on the telly, just got a quarter of your eye, and it's like, what are they doing now? <laughs> They've gone outside yet. They showed you how wet it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got, we've got loads of stuff coming. What are we doing? About six a week, five, six videos a week? Yes. Yeah, we've got tons of stuff coming up. Uh, we, we'll be launching ourselves into a live feed event soon, so that normally means prizes, doesn't it? I would suggest yes. to people. There'll be a big Nipex bundle coming. Um, what else? We've got? Oh, we've got a Wago bundle coming, all sorts of stuff, mm. haven't we? We're going to give away some of these electric screwdrivers from Handy. Yeah. Yeah, wherever they are. What are you looking for? The hand knife. Yeah, no, yeah. Can, does it sound. Yeah. Doesn't read it as that, does it? Hmm? It, it looks like we're a channel with a one yeah. of them, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. All right. Okay. If you've got to this point, there should be a prize. There should, there should be a, a Joe Robinson doorstep challenge. You should get a visit from Joe, and that would be from. Uh, Danny Baker in the original Daz Doorstep yeah. Challenge. You should have him at your door, but unfortunately you don't. We really appreciate it. We've rambled on in what we call the plug and socket for long enough now. So we're going to let you go and enjoy the rest of the evening. And if you did start and finish with us, I wish I could send you something to say thank you. Just keep entering. The Eddie Current hats are brilliant. Okay, we love them, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll send out as many of those as we can over the time. Sticker swap's available as well. If you go onto the website and you wanted to do a sticker exchange with us once our uh, younger Joe returns, okay, we'll all start posting those out. We greatly appreciate your support. Um, and anyone who's gave us a thumbs up, it's brilliant as well. We're gonna say good night, because we've got an early start tomorrow, because we've got Ross in. Oh uh, yeah. Eight o'clock, 8.30, yeah. he's yeah. in race wall time. So thank you very much for joining us on the live stream. <laughs>